Good evening to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and this evening I want to share with you another haul because I have been shopping again. But first I want to share with you um, what I have on here. This polish has been on a couple of days and I decided to stamp over it um, a day or so ago just because I wanted to try a new plate out. So what I actually have on here is Zoya Song. And the base coat that I use is that um, gooey nail base coat that I've been using. I had on two coats of song and I wore it by itself a couple days. And then um, I used this pastel blue Mundo de Unis polish with one of my new Dixie plates here that I had just hauled. And this one is, um, let's see, plate number two it looks like. And I was looking at it and noticed that I had this image right here that looks like the shattered, broken up um, image. I have one kind of like this on one of my Conan plates, but it's not as big. And it's very faint. Like, I noticed it on the plate when I was looking at it. I just didn't really do anything, but this covers your entire nail, so it's a large image. And this is what it looks like. When you look at it and you think, um, like, the shattered polish, that's what it looks like. But I was thinking about doing this in black with different colors. Um, and what I had put on top was my matte um, clean color. This is kind of old, but it hasn't changed colors. But I've noticed this one in particular does not fade um, my images whenever I stamp and use this. This is the matte that I use a lot. And I want to try to find another one of these because the store where I got this doesn't have it anymore. And if anyone wants to see any other images from these plates, I will do a demo. Um, but Dixie, um, she does a lot of her um, images herself because one of the plates that I just saw that I wanted to order that I didn't see when I got these, um, she gave me a link to the website, which I haven't used yet, but I've mentioned. So what I really want to share with you guys is some things that I got. Um, I did go to Walmart. I wanted to go to the Target on Burkhart that I've said before is by me because they had the big gallon sizes or the ones with the handles of fabric softeners. I wanted the Dream, the Honey Flower, the Amber, and of course the Cashmere Glow. But I wanted to go to Penn Station with my son yesterday. And before he met up with me, I figured I'd go to Walmart since they carry about the same thing. That was incorrect. That Walmart didn't have any of the stuff that Target has. You've heard me say I favor Target. But I did go over to Walmart. So what I did get was this little bottle right here. And this is the Cashmere Glow. I really like this one. And... Whatever company it is, I don't know if it's Unilever or what, I've never read the back of the bottle. They always make things for a little while, then they take them away. So the other one that I got was Sweet Dreams. So this was two, I think, of the four or five that I wanted, and it was in smaller sizes. They were about $3 and some change a piece. Now some things that I got into, I got these candies here because I remember these when I was a little girl, the little peanut butter kisses. But look at this if you can see this. I didn't see this when I was paying for it. A lot of these melted out and leaked, and I bought it that way, and I didn't notice it until I went to try to take them out. And there's like this big blob here, and if I'd have noticed that beforehand, I would have took them back to the store. Apparently, the cashier didn't notice it either. Um, they're not disturbed, and the ones that I can pull apart, I'll eat, so I'll be okay. The next pins. I don't know who that was knocking on my door, but needless to say, they just scared the habijas out of me. Anyway, the other candy that I got before we were so rudely interrupted was the sea salt chocolate candy corn. Now, I have been into these. I just cut them today. They don't really taste like sea salt and chocolate. They don't taste bad. They just taste like chocolate candy corn. And then, you guys can tell I was hungry when I got this stuff. I got the caramel ones, and I have to be careful with these because I did have um, a cavity that led to some oral problems and eating candy like this if I'm not careful. It really, really hurts when I get it in the wrong spot, but I don't like eat a mouthful of these things. But I was curious about these. The last Target haul that I did, I saw these at Target, and I went ahead and said that I would go back and get them. Now, the things that I got that um, were for work, was I found these little 
folders for, I think these were 97 cents, and I like that they're smooth. And I use these things for work, like we have to print out our pay stubs and things like that. And one of them I'm going to give to a friend, the black one, because she likes black, and one of them I'm going to keep. And again, these were just 97 cents. Because I was basically in the area that I was in because I was waiting to meet up with my son. And they dropped these down. Um, these are the note paper clipboards. They dropped these down to $3.87. Got the flowers right there. And this one is like the one I have right now. So I might give this one to my friend because she like mine. And then if she don't want one like mine, I'll give her the other one. Because we work in different areas so we won't cross them up. And I have writing on my paper. So they just have paper in them like that. And this one... Let's see if I can turn this around the right way. Had blue paper. It looks white on my phone, but it's real pale light blue. And that was the end of the Walmart. Um, what I got at Walmart. The next thing I'll share with you is what I got in the mail, which is what I'm really, really excited for. I got five of the acrylic plates for $34. Um, they weren't a set for $34. They were $5.99 a piece. And the ones that I got... Um, just total 34, but I do want some more of these, but every time I get on a site, I can't seem to find it again. Because the site that I got on, there were more of these. There was like, I think it was Islamic, if I'm not mistaken, and something buildings. But what I got, the ones that I saw in people's halls were the Spring 2, and I can't wait to try these out. The first one I think I want to try is the Spring 1, if I'm correct, which is this one. This is spring one, and it is this area up in here, all through in here that I want to try. So I've watched different demos, and I'm starting to watch more now that I have these, but these are so cute and pretty, and I'm worried that I'll put something on them that will mess them up. This one is the CC and Sissy Wedding Season 1, and I thought that I was remembering what I got because of the cross, but then when I found the video that made me get this plate because I was remembering the cross, it looked like it was a bigger, like, like it was the size of two of these. So I don't know. I did, however, recognize this image, which I like this. And I need to pull out my acrylic paints and start trying to fill some stuff in. So, and then the next one I have here is Spring 3. So I didn't realize I had spring one and two and three. And I love this butterfly here. I love this image right here. Like, I just can't wait to try these. And I hope I will not be using my uh, Mundo de Unis Mexican pink on these because I know they stain and I don't want to get them stained up just yet. I'll probably use my standard white and black for now or my bones color. This last one that I have is called, let me see if I can see this. Yeah, Islamic buildings so there are some more of these i just don't know how to get to them but that's just beautiful and i want to stamp from between there so again i got five of these at 5.99 a piece and i went on the cc and sissy website and they came in this and then the other two things i'm going to show you came from of course sephora and bath and body works now, I also went into Sally's, and what I went into Sally's for, again, I was just browsing. I did find a China Glaze polish that I like, but I didn't buy it. I got this color here called, let me see, what is it called? Hugh left a message, and I'm hoping I don't already have this. The reason that I got this in the store is I opened it up, and see how this is, it's sheer, so I can put this, I think. I'm going to try this on top of my pearly white colors and on top of some of my brown colors. Almost as if this is the brown version of fairy dust, but I'm really hoping I don't have this because I have so many polishes. Sometimes I have repeated things. I got the IBD glue because I didn't know if this was better than the five minute one that I get that's in a bottle similar to this. That's all I got from Sally's and I had a $5 coupon. I got another bottle of the Yellow Stopper, which was $5.50, and I ended up paying $9 altogether after the $5 discount. Now, today I stopped in Sephora because I couldn't stay out of there. I watched a Fancy Face video, and it was this, um, I think this is called Space Time, Moon Dust um, 
liquid eyeshadow, but I want to try to use it as a liner and a shadow. And I was playing with this with the moon dust, and I really think that the moon dust I have in the singles are different from that palette. I don't know. I mixed up a silver on my hand and a gold, and I guess as I was hitting things, it was blending on my hand. I liked it, but I liked this more. And it's got this kind of a brush, so you could use it as a liner and as a shadow. But I had this on my hand in there, and I love this. I was still looking at it before I got home and washed my hands. I like that. I think I would first probably try this like on the center of the lid or as an eyeliner because I'm not really adept at putting on a lot of shadows, but I think I could work with this one, and I really do like this. Um, and again, it was called Space Time. And I don't know how many of these there are, but this was the one that I like. Like, I saw her video, then when I was in the store, I saw it. Then I wanted to get two more lipsticks. I got two, so I got the shade Broken. And I was actually in there messing with the side of the lipsticks, like trying them on. Because I still passed over Ravenswood, and I couldn't find the one called Mosh Pit. So this one I called myself trying on. It seemed like it was like a clearish color. Not clear, but... Like a little lift, a little natural. This is something I could put on every day to wear to work. But you see how I can't tell if it's sheer or just matching my skin. It looks a little darker in person than it does right now. But this would be like my nude, like my personal nude. It looks like a gloss there, but there is some color. And I can't get it to show up on my phone. And then I started wondering, I had a little mark on my little pamphlet. I hope that I don't have this in that palette. But it don't matter because this is one of the ones that I would wear down. I was also looking at Hex and Mrs. Mia Wallace, but I was really trying to get colors, um, again, that I knew that I would wear. Now, here was something new that I learned today. Um, I got the color, this is Speedball. I saw this in Sephora. I didn't see it there last time. It is a purple, just like the Jawbreaker and the Pandemonium. It's like a plummy purple. I found out today, and I didn't count them, that there are some Sephora exclusive shades. So even though they have 100 shades, I think it's my understanding, and y'all might need to correct me if I'm wrong, but it looked like there's 100 shades of the lipstick, and then there are some shades that are considered Sephora exclusives. And there is a lip liner to this one. And I'm going to guess that there may be some Ulta exclusives, but I don't know. But I didn't find the color Mosh Pit at all. Hex is in the store, and Mia Wallace is in the store. It's just, I got the one called Nighthawk. They don't look similar, but I wanted a different shade, and I got this one purely because I had it on. And I really did like this, so I figure as long as my hair stays dark and I don't dye it anything other than a deep, deep burgundy or purple or something like that. I don't usually dye my hair weird colors, but I bring this up because I have been known to dye my hair a burgundy or a deep, deep purple, like a deep version of this. It's the kind of color that you would only see like when you're in the light. Like I never dye my hair a strange or bright color because I'm someone that will alternate my makeup to my hair color. And since I don't buy a lot of makeup, I don't do a lot of alternating. But over the years, I've used the Fairy of Chocolate Cherry and back when I was in high school, I had a real dark purple shade. It was that kind that was real pretty and looked like a shiny dark purple in your hair. But again, you had to be in the light for it to show. Otherwise, I used the cup color. I don't know if it's pronounced Baijin or Beijing, but it's that little box of number 47 dark chestnut. That's mainly the color that I dye my hair. But now that I'm older and you guys are going to laugh at this, I've been finding a white strand or two in my hair. And I'm someone that plucks them out. I don't believe in letting them grow and cover them up for myself. So I haven't colored my hair in the fear that I'm covering up something. So I plucked them out. I haven't had a lot over the years, but unless they grow in a patch, they're getting plucked out. But I do want to get me some hair color, the dark bison number 47 and darken my hair because my hair is kind of light. I mean, you guys have seen it. It's dark. But it's light. It's like a sandy dark brown. If I can explain it, it's really weird. But the other thing I got in Sephora, I wasn't planning on getting, but they had this. And I was curious about this. Now, we know that I already like the Nitamins. I do want to try a full-size jar of that because I still have one of these. But I was curious about this Max. Let me see if I can say this right. Maskamizer. It's the new spray that they have to put on before you put your mask on. And, of course, I was curious about this white face wash here. 
Um, I think it's called Checks and Balances. I was curious about that. And I don't know what this is down here. Um, they had it all out in there. One says Hydration and the other one says Purify. But it was definitely for these. And then they've got all these little herbs and vanillas and things. But that's why I wanted to get this. Um, so let me open it up and see how this is in here. I like these, but I hate that they're 500 points. Sometimes I wish that Sephora would give you two points per dollar because this is almost like you spent $500 and then this is what you get. I mean, you could get all of this stuff in full size, but I know it's not. It's like a bonus that they give us points with everything we spend, but this is the Checks and Balances Frothy Facial Wash. Now, I had one mask that foamed up on my face, and I couldn't stand the feeling of it, so I hope I like that. <laughs> if not, I'd probably give it to my daughter because she's been wanting that. These are like deluxe size samples, and this is the Maskamizer. And you're supposed to spray this on, and it's supposed to help your mask work better. This I love. I will probably get a jar of regular and oil-free when the regular runs out, but I do have one of these open right now, and these last a good long time. So this would look like balls is some kind of um, mix and mask. So I guess you can mix these because it looked like those little balls. So that was that. And I do like that lipstick. But on my phone, it's not showing up as good. But see, you can see that lipstick right there better. That's probably as good as it's going to get for me to try to share this with you all. This is showing up true. Um, but it looks like my phone is doing some weird light alternating thing where I guess it's adjusting. I'd like to stop it from doing that. And the very last place that I went, of course, and this will go quick, went back to get another one of these. And I'm going to light this one up as soon as this video is over because I'm curious. <laughs> and I did get this year's version of the pumpkin pecan waffles. Because I didn't, and I don't think I did anything with last year's version, but this smells a little different, so I thought I'd try it out. Someone in there said they liked it, and they didn't like the other candles. It was a couple walking past, and I just heard a piece of their conversation. Everything else is repeats. Got another pumpkin latte marshmallow, another pumpkin cupcake with another orange pumpkin. Couldn't remember if I hauled the coconut pumpkin or not, so I got another coconut pumpkin latte. Got another one of these because I'm really enjoying the hand soaps to these. And got my son a replacement noir because he always runs out. And that's it, everyone. I know this seems kind of repetitive, but I'm really, really um, excited about the lipstick and the uh, Moon Dust eyeshadow there. Because that I think I can work with. This right here. And tomorrow I'm going to come back and I'm going to announce the winner for the Moira plate. I wanted to do that tonight. But I have been up early this morning and I'm just getting home tonight and it's already after 9. So until the next time, everyone have a great evening. And tomorrow I will announce the winner for the, I'm saying it wrong. What was that play called? Marahaja Plate. I hope I'm saying it right. Good night, everyone.